Happy Monday, everybody. My name is Matt Johnson, and welcome to Coffee and Watchers, where every week, three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I bring you the very best in watch reviews, horological history, and timepiece tidbits from around the globe. Today, we're going to look at the countdown of the top 10 fascinating facts you probably didn't know about Omega watches. So, without further ado, let's get right into it here on Coffee and Watchers. <music> So Omega is one of the most iconic watch companies in the world today, but how much do you really know about the brand's long history? Here's a countdown of the top 10 facts you probably didn't know. President Nixon was actually offered a custom yellow gold Omega watch, but he wouldn't accept it. Why? Because he thought it was too expensive. The original founder and creator of Omega was Louis Brandt, and he started the company when he was only 23 years old by assembling pocket watches from parts that were made by local craftsmen. Now, you probably didn't know that Omega watches won first place in every category at the Geneva Time Trials in 1931, helping them establish themselves as the most accurate wristwatch in the world. Mm. The first man to reach the North Pole in 1968 was a gentleman by the name of Ralph Kelly. On his wrist, he wore an Omega Speedmaster. The arduous journey to the North Pole took 43 days. Omega's chronograph is the only watch that's been used to measure time at the Olympics since 1932, and it still does to this day. The most iconic spy in the world, James Bond, has worn an Omega watch in the majority of his movies. And actually, it was Sean Connery's favourite watch. Many high-profile celebrities and famous people have worn Omega watches over the year, including Pope John Paul II, Elvis Presley, Ringo Starr, Buddy Holly, and even John F. Kennedy. Now, you may not know that Omega is the last letter of the Greek alphabet, and it's a letter that signifies accomplishment and perfection. And I think you'll agree those are two traits that Omega watches certainly have. Omega was the first watch to reach the moon when NASA's expedition took Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong to the lunar surface. They were both wearing an Omega Speedmaster. And finally today, Neil Armstrong, when he walked on the surface of the moon, wasn't actually wearing his Omega watch. In fact, Buzz Aldrin was the only one wearing his watch on his wrist. And why, you ask yourself? Well, on the way to the moon, the clock in the lunar module broke down. So Neil Armstrong took his watch off and hung it in the module to record the time and replace the clock. So there you go, a fact you probably didn't know. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in today on Coffee and Watchers. Have a great Monday. We'll see you again on Wednesday for my watch wish box. Take care, guys, and don't forget to click on the subscribe button right here. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.